To fold the box card, you actually don't need too many materials. You just need one piece of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. You're going to need a scoreboard, and hopefully your scoreboard has this angle tool. If it doesn't, you can use a heavier piece of cardstock that you cut to an angle, and then just mark the inches up the side. A bone folder is always helpful. And some tape. So to start, we're going to take our scoreboard, and we'll put the angle tool aside for now. We will be using that in just a minute. So we're going to take our 8.5 by 11 cardstock, and we're going to lay it out horizontally. And then we just need to score at 2 and 3 quarter. Let's turn it, and we'll do 2 and 3 quarter on the other side. So these are going to end up being the gates, so that when you open up the card, that's what you can put your design on. Now we're going to turn it vertically and score it at one and a half. Turn the paper and we'll do the other side at one and a half. Okay, so now we've got our horizontal and vertical lines. These horizontal lines are going to end up being the short edges of the box, and like I said, the vertical lines will end up being the gate so that when you open it, they're the taller pieces. Now we're gonna take our angle tool and put this in here. And what we need to do is now score some lines here and here, and here and here, because that's going to allow the card to close to make the box. So to do that, we're going to put this cardstock in here diagonally. And you kind of have to play around with it because what we want to do is have that point touching the vertical side, and we want that point touching the horizontal side. And we want it to be at 45 degrees. So we're just going to play around with that until we get it right where we need it to be. Okay, that looks pretty good. So just as a point of reference for you, this is actually, um, this point is at seven and three quarter, and this point is at seven and three quarters. So that might help you line everything up. So on our diagonal piece, you can see that we've got marks here. We're going to score down at three inches, right to where the horizontal and vertical lines meet, and that uh, will line up perfectly. Now leave the cardstock exactly where it is because now we need to make a score line on this part and we're going to do that at six and seven eighths along the horizontal. So just take your score line from there, start scoring and we're going to again score it right to where the horizontal and vertical lines meet. Okay, so we've got one here and one here. This one's at three, this one's at six and seven eighths. So now we're just going to turn the paper and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Again, we're going to line this up at seven and three quarters on both points. And then we're going to take from here three inches just to where the horizontal and vertical lines meet. Up here we're going to do six and seven eighths again to where those lines meet. Now let's flip the paper over. We'll do the same thing again. Okay, so we'll start here, three inches. Here, six and seven eighths. Turn it. And this will take care of the last set of lines. So three inches. and six and seven eighths. Okay, so now our lines are done. We can put the scoreboard away, and you should be able to see that we've got our horizontal, our vertical, and our diagonal lines all scored in. So what we're going to fold first is we're going to fold those horizontal lines, the one and a half inch lines, in. Make sure everything lines up. Use your bone folder to make it nice and even. 
good crease. Let's turn that, fold the other side. Okay, I'm going to unfold now and I'm going to fold in our vertical lines. I'm going to turn this though. So fold those in. Do our other side. Okay, so you can see that's what I was talking about, that gatefold, and then here are the sides of the box. But in order to make this all close up nice, we need to now fold those diagonal lines. And you should be able to see that naturally the uh, vertical line here wants to push out. So you're going to push the diagonal lines. They should just fold up very nicely on their own. So we're actually folding those diagonal lines the opposite way of that vertical line. So do it on the other side here. And you'll see it makes this little point, this little pocket. And you should see now how that's going to fold up to make our box. So we just need to do that on the other three sides. And like I said, this should just fold up very naturally on its own without much coaxing from you. So there, turn it again. If you just kind of push, you can see it just wants, it just wants to fold up on its own. You don't even have to do much. Just make it nice and tight. Okay, so now that our diagonal lines are folded, we're going to push this all together. And you can kind of see how it's coming together now. But we need to tape some edges down so that way the card's not flopping all over the place and it has a better shape. So we're going to fold back the whole thing, unfold it. And here, just on these trapezoidal areas, we're going to tape on these four corners. So we don't want to tape in this little triangle here, we need that to be moving. But we do want to tape inside that trapezoid. So let's go ahead and do that. You can use red line here, but I found that just plain old tape runner, as long as it's the permanent tape, works just fine. But if you're a person who likes to use red line, that is okay as well. Okay, so now what we're going to do is fold that back down, make sure that everything lines up. We'll press down there and here. So now you can see it's starting to come together pretty nicely. We're still not done yet though, because as you can see when you open up, these sides aren't being pulled up enough. So now what we're going to do is we're going to tape on this triangle only. So these triangles just on the gate side of the card. We don't want to tape on here or here or here because we need those to be moving. But you can see if we tape those, it's going to make a nice box. So let's go ahead and tape in there. And again, if you want to use red lines to give it a little more strength or to get a little bit closer to the edges, you can certainly do that. But like I said, I didn't find that the card was failing with just this plain old tape runner. Okay, so now we've got the tape in there, and I'm just going to close it and then press down on those triangles. And now when I open it up, you can see that it makes that nice box. So let's open it up, close it, open, and you can see it's not going to really pull apart unless somebody really pulls on it and hopefully once they get a little bit of resistance, they'll realize that they don't need to do that. So that's all, all that's left to do now is uh, decorate the outside, and you can do it uh, vertically, you can do it horizontally, however you want to do it, and then you can stamp on the inside here, you can put little items inside, see look, you can just put that bone folder in there, and oh look at that surprise, you got a bone folder. But what's really nice is you can make um, ornaments or gift tags or any kind of little tchotchkes, pictures, any kind of loose item in there, maybe even some uh, 
larger confetti kind of floating around in there. Looks really cool. So I'm going to stop the camera, I'm going to do a little bit of decorating, and I'll come back. Okay, I'm back and I've finished decorating my card. You can see here's the front. This is a birthday card. So uh, I just did some embellishments on the front, and I kind of left this hanging over kind of as a, a closing mechanism for the card. So it opens up as a gatefold, and you can see you can decorate uh, these flaps here like I did. And I'll end up writing a message on the inside, and I just stamped a little butterfly in there, and I included these uh, items in here. Like I said, you could put anything in there. But each one of these items actually corresponds to an activity that we'll be doing for the birthday. So as we do each activity, open it up and it will show uh, what we're doing inside. But what's nice is when you're done, you can just put it right back into the box. But like I said, you can put uh, almost anything in there. So I hope you enjoyed this card. And if you end up making one, please post a link to it in the comments.